Uh, always with waking up in the floor with these. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Drib, original puzzle design by Steam Stream, with, as always, absolutely over the top, beautiful hammerizationalization work by the very talented War the Nuclear Shill. Um, it's foggy in here. Yeah, War's maps tend to be rather moist for some reason. It does look absolutely beautiful environmental work, though. So, ah, there's my portal gun and a corpse well that's new um caroline C caroline is that you well, why is there such a messy corpse in here uh, i'll have that thank you very much um you know what let's uh yeah that's better okay yeah hello welcome to drib absolutely a beautiful looking environmental work as always uh we picked up our portal gun caroline was presumably looking after it for us yeah I'm not used to seeing the actual corpses in the map um switchy panels up ahead just notice this appears to be a mono portacular map and there's a panel here first of all what is that uh, I feel like I'm supposed to recognize that I don't and knowing the portal mapping and modding community that's probably a reference to I don't know the office or parks and recreation or something like that which typically goes way over my head this Looks gorgeous with the lighting and fog work in here. Very nicely done. Uh, there's a mono portal placement down there for us waiting. And I feel like this is the sort of map we need to have a really, really, really good look around because it is gorgeous already just in this opening room. Oh, hello. You want me to look up there? No? No, you're just a normal arrow on the side of a box. Okay, I, I read too much into things. Let's place a portal up on you and see where our monoportacular portal actually takes us again down into a very very damp environment yeah wars maps are always really wet and moist and damp the kind of place that's brilliant for plant life especially the lovely lovely lupins but you feel like you're going to come away with some sort of fungal infection uh there is a button down here and a rather busted door cable work going back up to where we were do you do the door you don't do the door you I hear the distant falling of a cube, presumably where we came from upstairs, and a button down here that does. A button down here that does. Don't know. Can't tell. Let's go get the cube. Cube landed up here somewhere. Very nice. Past. Yep, again. Not used to seeing corpses in the actual maps. We've got a cube from the delivery tube, which is a very, very... Ooh. Oh. Actual reactive water physics. Yes, no expense spared in a war the nuclear shield map. Uh, that is a very elaborate tube. That very elaborate tube indicates it's a non-respawning cube. Uh, we did have a button downstairs. I want to have a look out here first, though. So I do like a good twitchy panel. Yeah, absolutely beautiful looking map. Let's take you down to the button down below. Let's place you upon here. Are you still reactive down at this level? Of course you are. Again, no expense paid. Let's sit you on there. Again, sitting you up on there. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Maybe that's sort of just to suggest we'd actually need to bring the cube down here. Uh, it's not much use, though, because there's a fizzler. Fizzler with a non-activated drama fan. Just lovely lighting, as usual. I really do like War the Nuclear Shills. Very personal sort of aesthetic to their maps. It's a huge amount of detail. Again, moist for some reason. But it's like Dilapature, but Dilapature Plus. Dilapature Extreme. Very nicely done. There's another button here. This button here does the exit over there for us. Uh, we do need to get that cube past the Fizzler then. So if I place upon you, being a monoportacular auto place portal map, means we can bring you through to this side. And you do actually have a purpose. I don't know what the button in here was actually for. I feel like that might have just been something we're supposed to spot from the grid above. And be like, hey, that's where the cube goes. You should probably visually follow the hints and go this way in the map. Which again is something orders quite nicely in their designs. Uh, that has opened a door here for us. I feel like I'm going to get trench foot in this map. Again, why is it always wet in these maps? Uh, over in this side, we've got some dramatic fan type lighting. And more twitchy panels. I also hear a distant siren. 
That's the sort of siren that says, hey, something's wrong with the space station. But we're not going to tell you what it is until act number two. Alright, so... This kind of just puts me down into a wet pit. Ledge I can't get past, but there is a panel here. This panel contains lasers. Lasers that go through glass into the twitchy panel area where there is a, another exit door for us and a button. Again, beautiful lighting and foggy mistiness throughout. This foggy mistiness is very nicely done, actually. I've seen maps use foggy mistiness before, but they always look kind of... I don't know what, how to explain it. Compartmentalized? This actually appears to fill the area quite nicely. Let's go on through into this side through the non-burning laser. Gets us up to the higher level above where we were before twice over. And a button for a door over here? No, a cube. A cube. A laser reflection cube. Makes sense since there are lasers to play with. Is this door connected to anything? This more part of the visual, this place is highly broken, don't worry about it kind of aesthetic. Yeah, this is so nicely done. I am a big fan of Wars maps. They always look gorgeous. Uh, what was the point of being able to do that then? Because there's a laser receiver here. And that went into an auto portal up there where I have inconveniently left the cube blocking any use of. Let's go... There's that a panel? That is a panel. Let's take you off of there then. What does that do now it's activated? That runs through the glasswork. Uh, that actually opens up our exit into the area I currently have no idea how to get into. So how do we get into you? Is that panel? That panel appears to be on a piston. I do. I do like twitchy panels. Um, sirens significantly louder up here, meaning the impending problem is closer. Uh, that is on a piston though, right? So does that move if we activate you there? Uh, to activate you, we can play with the fact that lasers do go through the glass, which we can do, I guess, from that one. But I want a cube for that, by the looks of it. Let's take you down to the bottom area. Stick our monoportacular portal on you. Goes all the way through. And I can hit that panel in there, which moves the piston out the way. And we could actually get in there, possibly, presumably. Would make sense. You know, that's probably part of the puzzle. But to do that, we're going to have to... Actually, we don't have to move our portals. It's a lot easier than that. We can go through here. Okay, cool. Still wet and misty down here. Serious case of fungal foot infection incoming. And you. You shake the environment. You close that off because you've done something with... You move the portal into here. Okay, so that moves the monoportacular portal into here for... Presumably getting back out. Uh, we're going to need the cube in here. I guess to keep that open whilst keeping this also depressed down. But maybe not because there aren't actually any panels that appear to line up with this button anywhere. No, okay, so I've got a feeling that this is going to be the sort of map which is really, really going to confuse me. Uh, I did read in the description that, yes, this is an original puzzle designed by Steamstream. And it was a puzzle design for the Thinking with Portals 72 hour challenge and is described as easy, but easy to me usually means, you know, a lot longer than you would expect. It is fucking gorgeous though. Beautiful environmental work in this one. It feels intimidating, imposing and foggy as fuck. Alright, uh, what do we actually want to be able to do with the fact that you move? I do like the whole shaking with the auto portal placement. Uh, I'd need a cube to be able to get back out of here anyway. Unless we get out of here, you, you're you a regular panel if not pre-auto portal placed via button. Meaning we can get back out that way, but it does close you off. So what did we actually need? We need the laser receptor up there to keep the exit open. Whilst being in here? That doesn't seem like it should be so difficult. Uh, what do we actually want then? So let's get the cube and place it on the button... Presumably to use you, because, I mean, you're there. There's got to be a reason for you to be there. So let's get out of here and get that cube, then. Uh, to get that cube, we can only go back into the glassed-off twitchy panel area via the upper area there. So is there any point in me taking the cube? We could just get a new cube, right? Or, I mean, for the sake of energy efficiency. Energy efficiency? This is Aperture. No one gives a shit about energy efficiency. Uh, we could take you with us in there. 
can't we? We could do that one for that. That's not the one we need for that. No, we do actually have to have the cube down there to get in there. So we'd have to leave a portal in there to get back up here and respawn the cube. Okay, so that was a complete waste of time moving you away from here. Let's bring you back down to this level. Laser out of you and conveniently, perfectly the right spot. So let's go back up to this side. Um, I want to leave a portal in there, right? You are going to be of no use because, yeah, you'll move as soon as the portals move. So let's uh, do that one again then. Open that back up. Then... Ah, wait, how does this work then? Because to be able to get back up to where the cube respawns from, I need to actually have a cube placed on you, otherwise that's not where I go. No, I still go up there, don't I? I still go up there because that's the placement doesn't change. This can take us up back up to the top level and we can grab a new cube from here. Makes sense to take you down into this level since there is actually a button for you. Let's place you on there. Auto portal placement switches around. Now, there is nowhere that lines up to have a laser coming through to do both, is there? So, we'd actually need a way back in here, plus you activated. So, it's not much point doing you like that. For the sake of it's in my mind right now, I'm going to line you up to do that. And then, that's it. Why are you not activated? Where has the other side of the auto portal gone if you're not up there? Wait, does that actually turn that off? If that's turning that off, how did I get in there before? You sit on there again. Why is that off? How did I get through before if that's off when that's on there now? I didn't realise that was actually turning that off. Okay, so this button also deactivates the auto portal. Huh. Okay, well that adds a different layer of difficulty to this. Um... Because that's how I was planning to get back out. That's literally the only panel down here as well, isn't it? Anything hidden in the mistiness? Lovely, lovely lupins. Um, right, okay, yeah. I found the part where I immediately lose all track of anything I had remotely in my mind. Uh, so. You can't be on there or I can't get out of here. But I need you on there. Why do I need you on there again? Just for getting out of here, I guess, but then it doesn't let me out of here. No, that's actually a very inconvenient button as it turns everything off. So what are you even needed for then? Just to get out, I guess, but I can't? Okay, uh, well, why do I need you in here then? Surely you need to stay over that side to keep you open and we can go through that way? Kind of makes more sense. Let's go back up to the top here then and set that back up. New cube, please. I've got the feeling this is going to be a many cube map. What can I reflect you up here for? There's nowhere to reflect you up here unless we were doing a thing to not have the laser come through until we respawn it. That might be an option. Uh, there was the thing down here, right? That's the one we're going to need. But we can't have you having a laser come out of you if you're going to move. But you could probably, whilst you're stationary the other side, for you to be stationary the other side, we've got to have you come down here again and line up through the glasswork to actually have that panel out of the way. But then as soon as I move you... which I'm going to need to move you to actually have that exit open up for us. We can't get back in there. Because now I want to do that. But I can't do that because doing that, well, deactivates literally everything. So you have to be that one for now to keep that open for us there. If you stayed in place out here... But even doing you from over this side, no good. Slight hint twitch of the door opening just to tease you. So why do I have this option? There's only one reflection cube. There's no other panels to work with. What would be the point in having a laser come through you? 
possibly into that panel there. Bit of debris and earthly build-up mound in the corner suggests that would be useless. It did say it was easy on the original version of the map, but again, you know, it's me. That means nothing. Um, so why can I do that? Why can I do that? That doesn't seem to be any purpose to you. Definitely want that, though. Let's get back up to the top. Get that shifted over again. With you shifted over again, this is open, and... Is there any difference if I'm on it now? No, it moves the one up the top, but it's keeping it open now? So wait, you can't have... You activated and... Because that's working up the top now, right? Oh, no, no, that's shifted completely into here. Oh, that's what it was doing. Okay, yeah, that, that completely eluded me. Um, So we could have the cube in here. But I don't want the cube in here. I want the laser from up the top there, because that's the only place the laser actually exists. So what good is that for me? Let's do you onto there, then. Closes all of that back up. Me on here. Right, so there's a combination here, right? If this button is on and the laser is on you, we also get you? I'm a bit confused as to what the connection with all that actually is. Which I feel is going to be something that makes this take even longer for me to work out. Uh, I want you again because that feels like some form of progress. Let's me get into here. Then I'd want the cube as well. So if I move you onto here now, we can have you. But I can't get back out there, because the auto portal is always going to be back up the top there. But I want the cube in here. It's got to be a case to get the cube in here, otherwise what's the point? So let's go and get a new cube. That should... wait, that's behind me. That should mean my portal is still down in here. So it seems like it makes sense to have you on here for the moment. But then I don't have any other way out of here like that. So if I take you back off of there, we do you. So how do I make any use of that unless we respawn you whilst we're out of the other side? Because that's going to lock you off, right? There's no way out of here if that button is pressed. Or oh, hold on, I need you to not be on there, right? Oh, I am getting confused here. You sit back on there. You're no use. So where's the other side of the auto portal? That's the other side of the auto portal if the blue isn't on you. So I'd need to not have the blue on you, which means I need to come through that one first. So to do that, it's actually got to be where it was already. Unless it's something to do with here. I don't know. Uh, I feel like this is the only thing with any sort of progress for me at the moment. So you go back on there for me. Opens that up. We can go back up to the top level up here and get back in there. I mean, whilst that's staying on there, I could auto port. No, I can't because that does that because I'm an idiot. You go back on here. Every panel that you actually need is awkwardly aligned away from a panel you can actually get access to. So take the cube in there now, but then we lose this setup. Well, actually, you don't need to be on there to hit you. You could sort of just be sat in the dank the other side, right? So I want to take the cube in here. Let's uh, do that one there. Go back up to the top and grab a new cube. Whilst we've still got access into that area. Then if I leave you like here somewhere. 
not actually on the button, but lined up to hit the laser receptor via the panel back there, which is not where that is. More like there, maybe? Possibly? Uh, then we go back up to the top level here. We use this panel again. Let's me get into here. So that's going to maintain all of those things. With the cube in this side. So then, what is the point of being able to do that now? If I stand on you, we can auto portal back out there. And you go away. If I move the blue to you now, you'll also go away. So there's no way to keep that back. There's no way to keep that closed and be in here. Closed, no way to keep that open, I mean, and be in here. So it'd have to be closed and have the laser off of it. So, what if we do you on here? Makes that auto portal go around this way. Then... That's not going to help at all, is it? No. So it can't be that way around. It'd have to be from in here. You off of there gets me the laser again. So let's have that again. So there's something that I'm... Not realising? No point doing you now. You're going to close. So I need that one again to have any of the setup in here, which we do with you, was it? Uh, no, because that's got nowhere to go from now. So you back off of there, back into that one that lined up, you know, in a way that might actually be usable at some point. Then you're... Well, you're blue up there at the moment. Did I leave a blue up there? I don't remember leaving a blue up there. So what's the other end of here? The other end of here is the normal laser. Then we get back up to this side. Definitely need that bloody exit though somehow. So that would have to be the last thing, right? If we do you and that opens up that again. So I need a way back into there, which would have to be via that from down in there but then I don't get the laser to activate you with uh, take you off of there for the moment close everything back up give me an auto portal there doesn't let me get back up to the top level though so you come back off of here for the moment and do that one. Is there anything I can do? I can't use that because that's currently the other way around. But I can't have you not on there, otherwise I lose actually having a shot up there. So what if we were... Not this one. I want to be the top level again. Uh, to be the top level again, you can't be on here. And I need to go that one. The top level, that one, to... There gives me the exit, but doesn't give me anything else. And also doesn't let me get back into the place I need to be able to get back into. Yeah, I don't think this counts as easy, in all honesty. This is way more complicated to me, at least, than it looks. Um, also can't get in there now. Because I've screwed up where the cubes are. Yeah, I've screwed up where the cubes are. Okay, give me another cube again, then. I'm sure this is the sort of puzzle where a lot of people do find this very easy. But, uh, again, you know, it's me. And you don't watch these to watch me solve things easily. I know what you want. Um, luckily, it comes accidentally half the time. So that gives me all that. I get back up to the top. I can go back into here. There's something to do with which auto portal is activated at which time, right? 
Because this one would let me get back out there if I had the cube. Leave me that open again. You have to be on. So that's the only other option I have at the moment is to go this way. Then we could get a new cube again and take it over into the other side because it kind of felt like we had something going on with the laser and the cube this side. Uh, useless doing you from there. Bring you back to sort of there. Not on the edge of the mount. Sort of there. And actually usably more back than that. About there. Yeah, probably about there. Uh, then I want the thing back on that one. So that's done by going up here. And that's the only way back round in. And it completely fucking misses. Um, really? God, I'm crap at lining up cubes. Uh, right, so give me a new cube again. Like so. Uh, let's line you up from down here. So that we can get you back into there and do a better job at lining you up. Opens that up, which opens this up, which lets me get back into here. And I want the cube in here. There's something I can do that I don't know how to do, clearly. That's how puzzle games work. Uh, doesn't work without the cube. Let's get a cube in here again then. So, yet another respawning of the laser reflection cube. Thank you. Into here. Felt like a degree of progress by having stuff in here at least. So, there. There. Combined with, hopefully there, yep. Um, nowhere else the laser can get into here from. No way in there. It's got to be a swap with that at some point though, right? So, back onto you, opens you up. And what am I doing? I can't put it on there. I really want it on there, but I can't put it on there. So, back over. Give me this swap, as it feels like a thing. I can't see that panel from down here, can I? Yeah, you can. Uh, so... Is that any use? No, not really, because that's the other way around entirely now, but I'm not up there. So give me that to back into here. Back into here. There's something really obvious I'm missing, isn't there? I can't hit you from up there. I can turn that panel off, though, making it a regular panel. Is it just... No, wait, quicker than that. Where'd that even go? Is it really just flick that round? So you all the way back. Then... Uh, blue. Really? No, it's not that, is it? Because then... I could have the blue... On you, which lets me get back into here. And then if you're not on here. Okay, that is deceptively simple as fuck and took me forever to find. Uh, yeah, apologies of how long that took me to see that. That's kind of sneaky, right? Yeah, I, w I was trying to find a much more complicated pre placed portal logical placement kind of thing. Eh, yeah, cheeky. Clever as fuck, and cheeky and sneaky, okay, uh, next bit of the puzzle please. Non-functioning door, meaning this video is going to be way too long. We do have some ominously misty catwalk type environment down here. 
Do you do anything? You do. I don't trust you. I'm going to try the door first with the red light that says no. Meaning I should have gone into here. Slightly less misty. Same level of ominousness. Do you open up for me? No? Okay. Oh, oh alright. Okay, uh, that's the actual end. Yeah, apologies for how long it took me to spot something glaringly obvious to most people, I assume. That was a drib, original, very clever, and ever so slightly sneakily simple puzzle design by the Steam Stream, and beautiful as always, and for some reason always moist and damp hammerizationalization by War the Nuclear Shill. So a very big thank you to the both of them, and thank you to War and Four Builds for the recommendation. And now, if you'll excuse me, I really need a dry pair of socks. Thank you very much for watching, catch you later.